Yo, Joe, Jason, your face here, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, G.I. Joe is there. I went to, on eBay to get none other than my favorite character, Snake Eyes, with Timberwolf as a Funko Pop, because when it hit Funko's website, it sold out within mere minutes seconds i don't know i couldn't even get it into my cart um yeah it sucks it really does um but i went to the secondary market went ahead and bid 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 on a bunch of them i actually lost several auctions i was like bidding on like five different snake eyes not at the same time but there was a point in time where i did bid on like two at a time and uh and i finally nabbed one but i lost so many like opportunities just because people are just quick at it they're quick at the draw man and you gotta you gotta be good with your ebay game you know what i'm saying anyways let's get down to business i'm gonna go ahead and unbox it uh my address label is on this so i'm gonna go ahead and slice and dice this off camera and uh do a little reveal and pop them out of the box for you uh as usual here's my trusty oh edc blade um by kershaw not sponsored but i'm not opposed I'm not opposed to, you know, being sponsored, Kershaw, you know, because I am a, a a knife enthusiast. Oh, man, what the heck did this get taped with? It's like, this tape is really strong. Wow. I mean, you got to hand it to this person. Um, they really uh, went out of their way to make sure that this package is securely uh, sh packaged, sh shipped, and whatnot. I appreciate it. I actually appreciate it. But let's let's see where we're at here. Um, could I get a little helping hand from Wolverine? Um, oh, but he's retired. They need to recast that dude. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. So, if you're a Funko fanatic, a pop head, a pop head, TM trademark um you'll recognize this this is what a lot of uh funko pops that come from the actual funko pop store come in uh the official like this is like their official um packing box so what it looks like is this and it just it really protects the hell out of these things so there's like a a, a tab that inserts right there and then you open it up and then whoa, look at that cue the cue the choir singing as this opens up like some kind of holy grail and then it just kind of flops open it's not even really a box it just kind of it's all it opens up basically so you can get in there and and see it's just like it does this whole thing and the flaps open it's like it's like origami um all right oh yeah so I had to get this. Wow, this is in great. The box is in great condition. I need to leave this person uh, five stars, man. I mean, and I'm not like I'm not like one of those dudes that rates the boxes, gets them rated by some like official company. As long as there's no like dents and like tears, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be freaking perfect, but it it this is pretty damn near perfect. And there's that sticker there, Funko. Uh, dot com Funko exclusive that uh, is official. Let me go ahead and pop this baby open. Um, once again, I will show you my little technique here. I did learn this from someone on YouTube, and I I'm sorry, I don't remember what channel it was, or the person, uh, and I don't remember <laughs> which video it was. It was a while back, but you slide that in there just really gently and and carefully, and you just kind of wiggle. Um, and it should pop uh, if it doesn't pop don't force it because it could rip so just like wiggle it gently and if it's not given and you might have to use your fingers and kind of like manipulate things but i'd say nine times out of ten that if that that technique really works well all right let's get this guy out of here come on dude um so i saw the snake eyes movie and i went in with like I, not low expectations, I went in with like no expectations because I just didn't, I was just like really neutral because, um, you know, I, I knew they were rebooting it. I knew kind of rebooting the character and, and whatnot. And I just, I wanted to go in open-minded. So I did. And I know that the reviews have been kind of like bad, um, from not only critics, but you know, fans. And I gotta say, I'm, I might be in the minority here, but 
I did not hate it. I thought it was all right. You know, it wasn't perfect. Absolutely not. No movie is, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it's not the Snake Eyes I grew up with, but it was fine. I mean, I think uh, I think the actors all did a good job. I think a lot of the fight scenes were pretty decent um, for the most part. Uh, it did get a little strangely supernatural towards the end. Um, I won't go into details in case you haven't seen it yet uh, with the villain. Um, but yeah, it was a decent movie. I mean, I like Henry Golding. I think he has a lot of charisma on camera. Um, you know, Andrew Koji, obviously from Warrior, he's pretty pretty badass. Um, there was a lot of CGI stuff going on that was a little bit over the top, but hey, come on, it's G.I. Joe. It's a comic book movie, guys. I mean, you know, if you can deal with Marvel's CGI. Uh, anyway, getting back to the pop, it looks fantastic. I love that he has um, two weapons. He's got a, a knife and his sword. Um, I'm surprised he doesn't have his Uzi. I, I don't know why I was under the impression he had his Uzi, uh, but maybe I was thinking of a different figure. And then, of course, his head is articulated. Let me see if he's given off. Oh, yeah, he's given off that funky f vinyl smell. And last but not least, of course, we got to <laughs> look at this guy. I mean, you got to get this pop for this guy alone. I mean, if you're an animal lover, look at that. Look, is this little fucker cute or what? Like, it's it's a wolf, but it's a like a big-headed wolf. It's, it's a stylized wolf. Just want to pet him right there. Um, wolves don't... Do, do wolves bark? No, they howl, right? Um, let's see if he's articulated. Oh, he doesn't turn his head. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not giving, and I don't want to, like... I almost busted it off there, because I was just like... Cranking his neck. All right. That is Timber. Um, yeah, this is dope. This is like... If you were an old school Joe collector, this is like the mask that they did when they rebooted the figure the for the first time. So I guess that would make him the second iteration or the second, yeah, the second style of, of Snake Eyes. They added muscles to him back then um, and put the grated, this like grate on his face. Um, if I'm correct, I mean, I don't know, maybe my knowledge of Joe doesn't go that deep, but when I was a kid, that was, I, this was the second like release and he came with the sword and they really went in hard on the um on the ninja aspect uh, whereas the first uh figure first ever figure was called commando snake eyes commando and they were really more heavily leaned more heavily on the uzi thing and the whole uh soldier part but oh this is a, this is a cool this is a cool one um all right guys well i hope you enjoyed that Again, I don't always go to eBay and buy stuff. I try if I miss out on something, I just I just suck it up and live with it. Oh, I missed out on it. I missed out on it. But sometimes you see something you really want on there and you know, there's a there might be a good deal out there or you're able to get some good bids in there and get in there and not spend too much money. Um and it's worth it. So, you know, what also helps too is and this doesn't always work, but sometimes it helps to wait a little bit so that the heat kind of like settles and like the, uh, it cools off, the, the item cools off that's not as popular and then you can go in and, and bid, bid as low as you can and, and you know, no, one, no one's going to come in there and sniper you. But, uh, but also that could go, that could backfire. Waiting too long can also make the, the you know, the, the, the value go up and you might miss out. Anyways, um, till next time, uh, I'll probably have another unboxing uh, for you soon um, because there's stuff that I have pre-ordered and there's a gift coming uh, that uh, I'm looking forward to opening. So until then, be healthy, be safe, and be kind, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Take care.